fly to Madrid, to Caracas. We'll be in Venezuela tomorrow evening. I'll do this run first. We'll be in South America before anyone notices we've gone. What? We're not going. We have no choice. We see this through to the end. This is the end. We can survive on the cash we've already got. If we stay, we'll get caught. We wait for the insurance payoff. Well, that's madness. The cash wouldn't last two years. We can never come back, Steve. If we wait, we'll have enough to invest. Set up a business. This is what we planned. Look, the plan went out of the window the minute Cathy stepped in front of the horse box. Nothing's changed. If she dies, you're an accessory to murder. She won't die. I wish I could show you confidence. The flights are booked. Listen to me. We are not throwing away everything we've worked for just because you're losing your nerve. Okay, well, just a few more weeks, Steve. Then we can disappear with all the money we'll ever need. Now cancel the tickets. Well, I reckon Mandy had to kill Viv if they hadn't been pulled apart. What, just because she said the Dingles had robbed the stables? Well, it's an hell of an accusation, Marlon, with what happened to Kathy. You get accused of stuff all the time. She usually walked off the duck's back. Ah, oh, so you reckon Viv was a bit too close to the mark, then? Nah, come on. Pig rustling's one thing. Attempted murder and nicking an international thoroughbred's a bit out of the league. Isn't it? Well, guilty or not, I think it's a good thing that you're not having anything to do with your family right now. I brought these to show you. I was filling an album and I thought you should have them. What they are? There's your 18. Oh, look at you. All shiny and full of hope. And we still thought you might be a doctor. Isn't that Jane Barnett you were? Oh, lovely girl, she was. Oh, you're 21st. You got quite a dash then, before you started letting yourself go. Look, there's Jane again. Carried a torch for you, something rotten. You could have done far worse. Mum, I know what you're doing. I'm only trying to help, Patrick. I don't like to think of you on your own. Yes, you do. You couldn't be more thrilled when you found out me and Mandy had split up. It wasn't meant to be. Jane Barnett, on the other well, hand... I've known Jane all my life. If something was going to happen between us, it would have done. Believe me. Sometimes two people are so right for each other, they don't spot it till it's too late. Well, I'm prepared to risk it. She's done well for herself. Banking. Might be able to advise you on your loan. I can find my own girlfriend. Thank you very much. That's what I'm worried about. Anyway, she speaks very highly of you. Jane does. Have you seen her? Yesterday. Oh. Well, next time you see her, give her my regards. Give him yourself. You're having dinner with her tomorrow night. Oh, Mum! She's everything a woman ought to be, that girl. Well, you go out with her, then. The table's booked. I don't believe you. Oh, please, Patrick, humour me. One dinner, and if you don't get on, well, at least you'll have tried. And I'll never interfere again. <laughs> oh, please, Patrick, for your mother. You live among folk as long as we have. And then they turn round and accuse us of that. It were only Viv Windsor's act. No one spoke up for us. They all think we did it. I mean, nicking's one thing, Dad. But Cathy's nice. I could no sooner hurt a woman than, than I could one of my pigs. You didn't do it. The police will work that out for themselves soon enough. Mud sticks. Proof or not. In the eyes of most of the village, we're guilty of sin. So what are we going to do? Well, we ought to do something, you know, communal-like, to show them that we're here and we're not bothered what they say. Aye. Maybe you're right. And I think you know just the thing. Do you? What? Shut up and get your shorts on. We're going for a run. Eh? Right. I'm going to go pick up James, and I've got some other things to see to. I'll be back for dinner. Have you cancelled those flights? Uh, no, I'll do it now. It's for the best. You'll be thanking me when that cheque arrives. Just got to keep our nerve. I know, you're right. I'll see you later. Mm. Nearly there, Steve. Trust me. It's 
So, it's too far my circuit, so I shouldn't be long. Well, can't you just go around there once? I've got important things to do. What more important than looking after your own son? Be as quick as you can, is all I'm saying. Christopher, it's a race. That's the whole idea. Bye-bye. I wanted to think it was the Olympics. You shouldn't really be running. The grown-ups is this. I'm only come for a bit of a laugh. Remember them? You two want to learn some respect. You want to listen to yourself. You what? Lighten up. Everyone says it, even Mum. Says what? Folks see you when they cross the road. And what does everyone say? I think you're turning into a right old misery gut. Come on, Mum. Are you going to come and do it, then? Yeah. Hi. Okay. <laughs> oh, hi. Stick with me and I'll show you the route. Thanks, but I like to do the first couple of miles at quite a pace. Oh, good. I won't have to wait for you, then. Oops. Hey, pace yourself, Steve. We've got a long way to go. Yeah, easy. See, Kim's back your sarnies for you. Nice, put a few weights in there. Somehow eight miles doesn't seem far enough. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think yourself pretty fit, do you, then? Yeah, I like to stay in shape. Well, before I get snacking, you can always jump in your rucksack. <laughs> yeah, you fancy livening things up a bit. Friendly wager. Yeah, why not? Yeah? Five or each. Whoever gets back first takes a lot. Yeah, I'm in for that. Go for it. Steve? Yeah, sure. Right, let's go for it. Go on, then. <laughs> well, they've got a nerve. <laughs> <laughs> So are you. Haven't you seen a pair of legs before? Oh, pity you don't use them and beggar off to somewhere you wanted. You've had one warning from me. You won't get another. Uh, ladies, this is supposed to be a fun run. If you'd like to get them under starter's orders. Right, uh, right, all you runners, uh, please, if you can get in a straight line. Come on, come on, come on. All in a line, thank you. Oh, on, oh, Get steady! Wait, all ready. Come on. Give me the best man win. I will care. Oh, at last. So it's not just me then. What well, isn't? I thought I was the only one that didn't fancy jogging through muddy fields just for the hell of it. Sorry? The fun run. Oh. Oh, now I can think of a lot more fun ways of spending my afternoons. Can you now? I wonder what they are. I am. Um, what that money I owe you? Hmm, that was quick. I knew you had an honest face. Hey, there's only 25 here. Oh, really? Oh. Oh, well, in that case, I'll tell you what, why don't you come round my place after work and, um, and I'll give you the rest there. Your place? You bring the jacket and, uh, we'll conclude our business. Your place it is. But don't go through the shop, go in the back, cos it's, it's slightly more private. Mm, what have you got in mind? I'll see you later. I thought you said you'd like to start off quickly. It's just loosening up. First one back buys the drinks. What are you having? I'll save you a seat. Good. Good. I think I need an ambulance. Come on, son, keep going. Don't forget, we're doing this for Catholic. Oh. Oh. Have a look. Uh, can you walk? No, I don't think so. <coughs> Probably cutting too much weight in that thing. Oh, thanks. Oh, come on, lads, we'll have to carry him. Oh, no, it's, it's all right, you go on. Were you sure? Do you want me to stay with you? No, honestly, I'm fine. All right, then. <coughs> Ready? Yeah. Steady? Go on. Hi! Hey, uh, Terry! She's right as rain now. Oh, thanks very much. Hello. This is your day off. I think you're taking this partnership thing far too seriously. I wanted a word, actually. Have you got a minute? 
What's our subject today? <laughs> Domineering mothers. Not my strong point. Brothers, I can do. Right. There was this girl when I was a lad. I mean, I mean we were cousins to all intents. Oh, I see. <sighs> well, my mum had the wedding plan before we were even 12. And is she nice, this girl? That's not the point. Sorry. Well, my mum's just run into her, and she's that keen that I don't get back with Mandy that she's arranged a dinner. Well, what's wrong with that? Because I'm a grown man, for heaven's sake, and I, it should be me that decides who I take to dinner. Don't you think? Well, I think you have to go. Why? Because it's not this poor girl's fault that you've got an interfering mother. You can't just let her down. Well, Jane probably didn't want to go any more than I do. Fine. She have a nice short meal, home for an early night, and your mother is off your back. There, sorted. Oh, here come the first of the bunch. Oh, at last. Oh, oh it's going to be... Come on, Rachel. Come on. It's going to be very close. Rachel, go home. Oh, 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 Enough, have you? Coming second is no disgrace, you know. You did really well. What, for a girl? You couldn't have kept up that pace for much longer. And you could, I suppose. I was just getting my second win. Right then. Well, let's leave the flat route to the others. Have you done much hill running? A bit, yeah. Good. You'll have to keep me in sight then. What do you think you're doing? Oh, hello, darling. How did you get on? Uh, don't tell me you didn't win. What have you done with the money? What do you mean? The money, it's gone. You moved it. What's the matter, Kim? Don't you trust me or something? Ah, that money. How do you know it's gone? I want to check if it was still there. Make sure nobody had dug up the flower beds or something and found it by accident. Which is why I decided to move it. Since we agreed to stick around, I thought we should find somewhere a little safer for it. Any problem with that? No. I was going to suggest the same thing. So where is it? The last place anyone would look. And where's that? Steve, you have to understand I'm doing this for you. What? If you lost your nerve now and did something stupid, you'd never forgive yourself. Kim, I... You know we're doing the right thing by staying. Now, this way, at least I'd be sure that no one's going to give in to any little temptations that might come along. We're in this together, Steve, and that's how it's going to stay. All right, Chris. I won't stay long. I've just come to ask a favour. On the condition that you help Paddy with his little problem. Zoe. I've told you what I think, now you need the man's point of view. What is it? He's been set up for a date with an old flame. That's a problem. Well, it is if your mum's arranged it, and she's not an old flame. Is she attractive? Chris. I don't know. I haven't seen her since my 21st. She could have gone either way. Well, it's obvious what you have to do. What? Where are you meeting? Just a restaurant. Well, make sure you get there first and sit in the car till she arrives. If she's gorgeous, in you go. If she's the back end of a bus, you just drive straight home, not having wasted any time or money. Uh, I'm sorry I ever asked you. No, you might have some of that. Well, seeing as we're not going to get any sensible advice, what favour did you come to ask? Oh, yeah. Um, Rachel's disappeared into the hills, leaving me with Joseph. Heaven knows when she'll be back. So I wondered, would you mind looking after him for a while? When? Now. Where is he? 
in the car. Chris? It's all right. The doors are locked. He's fast asleep anyway. Oh, you're completely hopeless, the pair of you. Hi. All right. What can I do for you? I bought your jacket. You asked me around, remember? Oh, yeah, of course. Thanks so much. Um, here's your fiver. Ta. Well, are you going to ask me in? What for? Scott? You know, I've got to go. There's a film just starting on TV, but um, thanks so much for your jacket. See you now. How much further are you planning on going? Once we get over the hill, it's a couple of miles back down into the village. Why? <sighs> Isn't there a shorter route we could do? Oh, do you want to give in? Have I won? No. <laughs> Go on then, lads. Cough up. Who wants to take in a shot? Hey, I don't need to, mate. I'm just a superb athlete, mate. Uh, All right, thanks to me. I have to push off, but I still didn't win. Oh, I wish I could have been there, guys. It sounds like really good fun. I wonder where Graham and Rachel are. They should have been the first back. Probably stopped off and found something better to do. I'm surprised they could find the energy. <laughs> I'm sure whatever they got up to was all perfectly innocent. Ah, yeah, all yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, how are we going to spend it then? What's all this we? Oh, hang on. What about some beers, pizza, and a video back at our place? Sounds good to me. Sorry, mate. Just for the athletes among us. Oh, uh, you can't stop us watching me on sell it. No, we can't. Well, where's your fiver then? <laughs> They've got lost somewhere. Between here and Rubblesfield. Oh, well, the others seem to be back already. Well, I'll go and ask the vicar. Mandy, is there any chance of a word at all? None. Excuse me, have any of you seen how Zach or Butch? It's just they're not back from Russia. Oh dear. With a bit of luck, they'll have kept on running till they reached the sea and not stopped when they got there. I won't asking you. Well, I'm telling you, my girl. Your family is a disgrace. How can you hold your head up in this village after what you've done to poor Cathy? Now, hang on a minute, Viv. The police says there's no proof. Oh, I don't need proof. You just have to look at them to know. Oh, come on. I know the Dingle's better than most, and there's no way that Mandy or any of them were involved in what happened to Cathy. Save your breath, Paddy. They did it all right, and she knows it. Thanks, Paddy. Oh, oh. <sighs> uh, pint of water for me, and whatever the lads have it. Oxygen. <laughs> it's no good. I can't run another step. Me neither. <laughs> oh. Cheers. All right. Drop on. Uh, actually, I wanted to ask you something. Go on, then. Oh, it's personal. Well, do you want to sit down, then? Yeah. Yeah, come on. Right. I want you to be honest with me and tell me the truth. Do you, um... Well, do, do you think I'm... What? Do you think I'm turning into a miserable old beggar? Yeah. You are. Well, you ask me, I'm just telling you straight. No one can accuse you of being out for a good time at the moment, can they? Well, thank you for breaking it in me gently. I'm not saying to blame me. You've had a rough time. You've got every reason to be miserable. Well, I'm glad I asked. Now I've got that straight. I'll be off. Ah, you did ask me. I didn't pay for you. I'll do it again. Whoa! Yeah. 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 <laughs> These are on me, I think. Well, I've kept you two, then. They yeah, probably thought it were a three-legged race. Uh, <laughs> that's a no. Seriously, thanks for it. What can I get you? Nothing, thanks, Alan. I'm far too tired to put with that rowdy mob. No, I'll get a drink at home. Oh, right. I'll see you later, then. Unless you want to come with me. Yeah, I'd love to. Go on, lads! Lads! I've just collected for our sponsored run. Anything you like. Zach, you're supposed to get sponsored before the race. <laughs> are you? He never told us that. Good cause, is it, Zach? Well, yeah, I just thought we'd do it for Cathy. You know, it's not much, but we wanted to do our bit. For Cathy? Yeah. But, well, if you don't want to, I understand. 
No, of course not. There you go, Zach. Great. Oh, cheers, lads. That's generous. Much appreciated. Yeah, son, do your bit. Cheers, Dad. Um, excuse me, Betty. Um, well, a few of us did that race, like, and, uh, well, we wanted Cathy to have that. Get her some flowers or something. Whatever you like. Trying to buy your way to a clear conscience, are you? No. That's very thoughtful of you, Butch. I'll get her something really nice. You coming back here, that'll really get them talking. <laughs> Let them. I think I owe you an apology. I'm not normally that competitive. Oh, it was me. I always seem to bring out the worst in people. Aware of sports concerns. <laughs> Do you want some water or shall I put the kettle on? Both. Where the hell have you been? I've been worried sick about you. What are you doing here? Looking after our son. You remember him? Little fella, blue eyes. Where is he? With Zoe, while I found out what happened to you. Well, as you can see, I'm perfectly fine. Well, if I'd known you were entertaining. I mean, should I keep him for the night? <laughs> no. That's all right. I won't be staying. No, really, you can. Rachel and I are long past those possessive feelings. Chris. No, she sleeps with anyone she wants to <laughs> these days. Actually, I'd really better be getting off. You really don't have to. No, I've got some marking to catch up with and, uh, well, thanks anyway. Um, I'll see you at school. Okay. Thank you very much. Well, it wasn't right for you anywhere. I only brought him back here to give him a glass of water. Yeah, right, whatever. What are you doing letting yourself in here anyway? For all I know, you could have had some terrible accident. You were hours longer than you said you'd be. Christopher, he's your son. You should jump at the chance of spending some time with him. I do. Oh, yeah, any more than an hour and you fob him off with Zoe. Now, you wait a no, minute. No, you wait a minute. Because I want a life too. And if that means that you're going to have to spend some more time with your son, then you're going to have to get used to the idea. All right? <sighs> Safe as houses. You won't tell anyone, will you, Frank? Him? Well... Oh, is this a private moment? No, not at all. Once in a while, I, I like to come and clean up Frank's grave, change the flowers, tell him what's been happening. Makes me feel better. <laughs> I won't intrude. No, it's all right. I was just leaving. Can I ask you a personal question? Of course. Do you think he hears you when you talk to him? Uh, Frank? I don't know. Can you ever be certain? Somehow, I feel sure he's still looking after my best interests. <laughs>